Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see about inter-thread communication. What is inter-thread communication? Two or more threads exchange information or communicating each other. It is all about making synchronized threads communicate with each other. ITC concept is one of the specialized forms of inter-process communication of the operating system. One thread paused for a critical section, region and another thread are allowed in same critical section, region to be executed. It helps to avoid thread pooling, is usually implemented by a loop to check some condition repeatedly. Once the condition is true appropriate action is taken. This wastes CPU time. How many ways to implement ITC? Using way, notify or notify all method. Both methods are non-static, final and from the object class. Wherever you use wait method, it releases a lock and allows other threads. If the thread is in wait state then only notify method can invoke that thread after invoked. The thread comes back in the runnable state. Methods can only be invoked from synchronized code, and must be in try-catch block because it throws IO exception. Let's implement. Let's first implement simple functionality without thread communication. Create a separate package for this. Package name should end with inter. Create a new class called account. Create two methods withdraw and deposit. Add basic accounting logic. To test this create a main class. Call withdraw and deposit method. See basic log is printing. Now let's convert it to multi-threading. Let's create two threads, one will withdraw and one will deposit. It's not affecting much. For inter-thread communication, use wait and notify. So inside withdraw we will use wait and inside deposit, we will use notify. Let's run again. Oops exception let's fix. It's working but giving exception also. The exception is coming because the synchronized keyword is not there. Let's put synchronized for withdrawing and deposit method. Wait and notify always work with synchronized. See now it's working perfectly, so if the balance is insufficient, it will wait for the deposit. Let's review whatever we did.
Let's implement some other ways. Create a new class using synchronized. Let's implement producer consumer problem without using wait and notify. Create new class one of producer and one of consumer. We will implement using runnable interface. Add some basic code. Let's run. See it's working. It does not look like thread communicating each other. And even throwing an index out of bound exception. Let's fix. Put it inside a synchronized block. See now it's working fine, so the output is like first one thread will add in the list and the second thread reads one by one. Oops again the exception, it's coming because one tries to read but other not yet write it. So it's not consistent. Add some sleep time. Still coming, add some code for other thread also. Still coming, add some condition like if the list is empty don't try to get. See now it's working and communicating each other. Both threads are reading and writing properly. Remove the thread sleep code. See now also it's working fine. Let's review whatever we did. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.